coffee, don't you? This is this is exciting. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look, we did. We made it. Almost there. Have a good day, ladies. Thank you. We made it, guys. We're here. Yay! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, what are we doing then, Alistair? Hey. So here we are at the Doll and Teddy Fair, May 2022. We made it. The videos of the show are up. Um, you can already see those. Um, in this video, I am just going to show you what we bought that day, along with little Mr. Alistair here. So enjoy the haul. And there's a little man. There's a mummy's little man. Hey, can you take that? So we say good morning, everybody. Good morning from Alistair and Mummy. Here's little Alistair, aunties. Looking very cute in this jumper. And this little set he's got on, this little vegetable set. He's got a little vest, a little white vest on underneath. And this little set has got tractor on it. It's so cute, but we have to have a jumper on. So it's a bit chilly. It is a bit chilly, isn't it? So we have to put your jumper on. So what I'm going to do now is show you um, what I bought at uh, the Doll and Teddy Fair in Gaydon. And um, before I even start, I'm going to say right now, I did not buy another baby. Even though I was sorely tempted. <laughs> But I was carrying Alistair and um, he was he is, he is heavy. I knew I wouldn't be home for a while, a few days. And um, so I was just like, no, I don't want to put Alistair. I didn't want to come back to the van and put Alistair away and love on a new baby. I just couldn't do it to Alistair. And there's no room when we're away for a few days in the camper. There's no room for two babies, is there? And I've, I did, this time I really wanted to bring Alistair. He's my cuddly baby and I really wanted to bring Alistair. I guess I must be feeling a bit of a cuddly mood. <laughs> so, um, and I wanted to take uh, Alistair to the doll show. Well, I've took, taken Felicity to doll shows and I've taken Annie to lots of doll shows. Frankie has been to a doll show. I'm not sure about Timothy, but he's been to Auntie Sheena's. And in June is the two-day doll show um, at Peterborough. It's like a two-day event. It's not a two-day doll show. The doll show is still on the Sunday. But on the Saturday, there's like events going on. So I've, we, me and Sheena have booked in to do the, those. So I definitely will be taking Annie, and that's in June. So I thought I won't bring Annie on this one, this little trip. I would bring somebody else. And I did take Annie to the other doll show a few last month, I think it was, um, in Southampton. So I just thought I'd take Alistair for a change. But I couldn't take a push chair like I wanted to. And um, like I would have, I mean, of course I wanted to, but <laughs> we don't have the room. But um, like I would have. And so I was carrying him in a make sling, make makeup sling. Um, you know, I made myself a sling out of a um, Muslim wrap as in wrap and um so there was no way I just didn't want to carry another baby around even though I seen some cute ones and then I just didn't want to put Alistair away in the camper somewhere and just have him like cramped up somewhere that's just like packed away because I had another baby it just wasn't just wasn't the right time for me to buy one well a really lovely sight <coughs> which I will show you um, which you'll see in another video, not in this one. But anyway, let's get to what we bought because we did buy some nice things, didn't we? We did. And you were such a good boy that day, weren't you? Yes, you were. So everything is in this one bag. Um, I got some, there's a lady selling 
for my second hand store this lovely velour dungarees it's got an embroidered pattern on the top along the chest it says baby socks no yeah baby socks teddy baby clothes the cutest little things and then this embroidered pair of socks um a bodysuit teddy bear bottle and a romper <laughs> and it's white i guess it would have been a two-piece at some point it's newborn it's got a really nice spotty inside i think it is um Mo not mother care um john lewis i believe it's a john lewis one it's really really cute and i do like white on the little babies i won't f well he's in naught to three i don't know he might get away with that i'm sure it said newborn i'm sure oh no it's mother care not john lewis mother care new baby up to 10 pounds mm, the no, I think because he's got the thing is, is Alistair's very deceiving because he's got a really long body and then like bent legs, so his legs would be longer. This one is really long and this one's bent. He's got long, thin feet as well. He is such a really, really cute, cute boy, aren't you? Are you your mummy's cute boy? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Yeah. Right, let's see. We've got a couple more second-hand things. This is gorgeous. It's like a play suit, but it's like lace over, but cotton, cotton lace over. And I think it is 12 to 18 months. Mini club, no, mini club. Six to nine months. Lady said she'd only tried it on her little one. She washed it, tried it on, and just didn't like it. It's got like little short, little sleeves, little straps with bows on. So that is any size, but I just thought that looks so long. It might fit Emma Jane, but even if it doesn't, it'll fit Annie. I'm hoping it'll fit Annie. And it's from one of my favourite stores, Mini Club Boots. Mini Club. Well, mini club at boots and then there was this one as well this one is six to nine months this is a um russia little russia it's the same sort of thing a white embroidered little uh bodysuit uh, bodysuit um um what do you call these like a romper i suppose it's got these little sleeves on it little cut off sleeves little cap sleeves and then some pink and white crochet flowers along the top of the chest area. And a, oh, it's got two little pockets, you know, to put your dummy in. <laughs> but again, it's really gorgeous. That was two really nice um, summer romper, play rompers. And then the lady didn't have anything for little Alistair. But she gave me these. <laughs> she just gave me these for free. Little pair of blue jogging bottoms. And so that was really sweet of her to give me those. And then what else have we got in here? This is in a bag. <clears throat> this lady had all her stuff. Covered in bags, nicely bagged. So I got these dungarees, pink dungarees with this really cute. I just thought it was really, they're really cute. They, they have a um, a really nice feel to them, and then they have like a lining as well, a really soft little lining. And I really, so I thought that they were really cute. Just loved them really, and I can't remember. I can't remember where the size do for us. There it is, right up there. Can't even remember what size they were. Um, these were the Marks and Spencers one. So they would have been a two part set. I think these are not free. Oh no, up to one month. Up to one month. So they will fit to probably look a bit big for Sarah. I don't know. <laughs> they're not meant to be shorts, they're meant to be long ones. I just think they're cute. I don't normally like the wide legs. 
don't normally a lot, but I just fit, I just think of all the drafts that can go up the wide legs when you're little. That's why I don't usually like them. But um, I just they are just so cute. Really, really good condition. Let's have a look. Oh, so from this store, I was looking at two um, different baby grows for Alistair. And I didn't end up picking a baby grow. I got these, these, short, these shorts. <laughs> it's got a hat as well. But they're, um, it's a short romper. So it's like, got, it's a sailor kind of effect on it. But it's £10, look. Not to three. It's white collar with these um, sailing boat embroidered on it. And then double breasted down the chest. It's got one little pocket with a button in a contrasting red thread poppers and I just thought mm, it's coming up to summer so maybe I'll get you some warm stuff uh, something to wear instead of the baby grows that was really really sweet so yeah I was like which one of these two am I going to get and then I thought he actually does have a lot of baby grows um, I got this outfit for Cindy. This is a Cindy outfit. <clears throat> a pair of cut-off trousers in blue. And um, a shoulder, off-the-shoulder jumper in yellow. I really like that. <laughs> did I buy anything else off that lady's store? Hang on. Yes, I did, but it's a lot of furniture. <laughs> so I'll put that there and I'll show you. So I also, in Hillside, I have a lot of little things I like to make. And so I bought all of these little um, bits of wood that I can, in the shape of furniture, that I can add to. Okay, little sink unit. It's just like old little wooden stuff and I can just paint it up. Is this meant to be a little wardrobe or something? I am just going to, I might not paint that one, that one looks really original. <laughs> I just love all miniature. So, I've got all of these like things, thinking of all my little miniature food and things that I can do stuff with. It's like a false glass. Cabinet. This little bookcase and I have little drawers at the bottom. I just would love. I can't wait to do something to this. <laughs> this looks really cute. And a little fake kitchen. Oh, I did get another outfit. And then there's this, which is... I don't know if any of you had this when you were younger, but I believe it is... Oh, whose is it? Cindy's, maybe? Fish tank. Old fish tank. I think it's Cindy. I think so. I don't think... I think it's too big for Pat. Um, not Patch. Pippa. I think it's Cindy. I did get another outfit as well for my Cindy and Stacy dolls. This one, it's like a knitted winter jumper with some navy tights. So that was great. That's not resting on you, is it, mate? No, those two are. So that's completely... Now I'm going to show you the other thing I got. They're so cute. Hang on, hang on. Okay, here they are. Here they are. Oh my God. I absolutely loved this store and I could have bought so much more off of her store. <laughs> so many more. They are just absolutely adorable. Well, I couldn't miss this one. This one's called Cookie. And look at him. He's holding some biscuits. And he is, it says on the back what they are, German silk, silky fake fur, polyester fi filling with steel pellets and glass eyes. 
Look at him. Isn't he adorable? I cannot wait to make a home for him. I think he's going to be the owner of a biscuit factory. I think. Look at his head turns, everything. And he is he was sitting down when I saw him. And I just had to get he is so cute. Look at him. Oh and then this side is Daisy. She has this really cute little bonnet on, like an Easter summer bonnet. Look at her little smiling face. She's got a little dress with a bolero cardigan on and she's been collecting daisies. She has a basket with daisies in. And um, this is the same German silky fake fur. Polyester filling, steel pellets and glass eyes. So they are weighted as well. And her name is Daisy. She is just, she was stood up. Um, on a little stand, so I do have a little stand. Look at the little buttons. Some people are just so clever on her dress. Little hearts. Oh, I can't get over how much they were. Look at her little face. She was looking at me as if to say, you know, I need to come home with you because I hear you make wonderful little houses for your little, little animals, little people. She heard and she put her ears up and she was like, oh, can can I come back with you then? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but you know what? I've got to get this old mate of yours as well, Cookie. Look at his little waistcoat. Oh, little waistcoat is so cute. It's made out of felt, but... um. I can't remember, it's a mixed felt. I can't remember what um it is. And his little green buttons as well. He's got little heart buttons. I mean, that takes some skill in itself, doesn't it? To sew those little buttons on. Let alone sew up a whole bear. Look at their little faces. Cookie and Daisy. I love how the little heads move. And so I'm really excited to be making them little, little homes. I'll have to order some plain little houses again off of um, Amazon so I can make them some little homes. You know, kind of like the Mayleg homes that I've made. Um, they just fit better. I just means I have a little bit more room down in Hillside than having a big, um, one big doll's house. Although I could have a big doll's, one big doll's house and make it into kind of like a department store. <laughs> no, I just like making all these little houses. They're so cute. So what houses have I made so far? I don't think you've seen the recent one I did. I have literally just finished one. And it's full of flowers all around the door, Daisy. You would probably like that one. And it, it's it's like for an you know traditional um little home. You might like that one. And cookie, yeah. Um, I think you deserve. You need to be like a biscuit taster because <laughs> that would probably be my ideal job too. <laughs> oh, I go up to Sheena's and eat all her biscuits. She only ever gets biscuits in for me. <laughs> aren't they cute so i had a really really lovely day as did alistair i just moved over sorry it's my little table squeaking not me um yes i just move over back over here there you snug as your bug oh look you look tired now you snug as a bug and you look tired little man yeah you do we have cuddles and go for have a m morning nap yeah, should we have cuddles and have a morning nap? Thank you very much for watching. I'm glad you've enjoyed this run of um, videos from the doll show. Uh, it was just amazing. It was really such a good show. 
Um, I really enjoy it because it has a whole range of stuff. Um, when you go to the Reborn doll shows, they really ju they just concentrate on Reborn dolls, and there are a few stalls with teddies there. But this, because it's all um, antique and vintage, well, it's right up my alley, this one. And this was the first time it's been at the Motor Museum. Um, and so that was much bigger. We had more space. I don't know how much it cost her to rent it out, mind. Rent out the rooms. But um, we had more space for the prams and that. So, um, yes, it's great. And you didn't have, we didn't have to pay for prams either. We didn't have to pay any extra to bring your pram, which was good as well. Um, and it's got all facilities there. A really nice restaurant. Um, obviously, toilet facilities. Lots and lots of parking. And it's off of a motorway, so it's easy to get to. So that was held at the Motor Museum. And I do believe they're having a Christmas one in November there. So I should be going to that. <laughs> And um, and then they have their usual one at Birmingham Motorcycle Centre in September. Um, so I might go to that one. That's the one I like. So I hope to go to that one as well. And so those are different from uh, the doll shows. The doll show is reborn doll shows, and um, this is called this was called the doll and Teddy. These are called the Doll and Teddy Fair, as you can find them on Facebook and online somewhere. I'm sure I will have a leaflet somewhere, but I, I haven't come across my leaflet, actually, for it. It might be in my handbag. Let's just get that. Yeah, here we go. These are the four spots that they, the three spots, sorry, because they've just added on the British Motor Museum. So normally I go to this one at the National Motorcycle Museum. So that was the March one, and then they have the 25th of September one. They have one at the Pudsey, Pudsey Civic Hall in Leeds. These are those dates. And then this is the British Motor Museum. And this was one I went to on Sunday. And this is the one at the end of November, which is a Christmas one. And this is the email address. Uh, the website, I mean. And then while I was there, there was a lady who was also there from one that gets held in Doncaster. So this is one that gets is the Doncaster Doll Show. Separate, they are just here in Doncaster. And um, this is their information. I don't know what's on the back. Dates for the next show, September or December. But they are, find us on Facebook, yeah. Find them on Facebook. Or this is the number of the lady if you want to book a stall, ask any questions. But yeah, there we go. So this is the one I went to. This is the one that has like all sorts, all sorts. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching. I'm going to have my coffee now and I think I'm going to do a bit of colouring. Um, in here, always like bringing Russ has gone taking Millie out for a nice long walk, and I am um, I love this coloring book, <laughs> it's a really really cute one. So much detail there, yeah, so that's what I'm about to do now. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.